Hi and welcome back to MyExcelOnline.com. Today we are going to show you some exciting templates that you can create inside of Microsoft Power Apps without any coding at all. If you want to learn more about Microsoft Excel and Office, join our Academy online course and access more than a thousand video training tutorials so that you can advance your level and get the promotions, pay raises, or new jobs. The link to join our Academy online course is in the description. So first of all, let's start with how you access Microsoft Power Apps. Right now, I am on office.com. And you may be prompted to sign in on office.com. And if so, go ahead and do that. And so let me show you from here how you can access Power Apps. If you go up here to the App Launcher, if you've used Power Apps before, it should show up in this list right here. If not, then you can click on All Apps and scroll down to the P's where it says Power Apps and click there. And Power Apps will be launched in a new tab up here at the top. So if I go over here to Create, I can scroll down and I can go to this section called Start from Template. And you can see that there are all sorts of templates down here. And you can probably find an existing template for any type of project that you're looking for. So I just wanna show you a couple that I think would be for common apps that would be desired in any kind of organization. So let's start by scrolling down here and going to Service Desk. Most companies have someone on site that is willing to work with problems that are going on inside the office. So I'm going to show you how you can create a really fast app for just logging some of those issues that may be going on around the office. Now when I come in here, I can see that I can name my app. Let's just call it Service Desk. And I have a choice. This can either be an app on a tablet or an app on a phone. So let's just do the app on a phone and hit Create. And you can see that Power App has already automatically created this app right here for the phone. If I want to see how this app functions, I can go over here to the Preview button, and I can see that there are tickets that have already been logged inside this app just to show you a sample. But you could go through and delete all of those and start from scratch. So you could view all tickets. And if I hit the Back button up here, then you can go to New Tickets, and these would be new tickets that have just recently been logged. And if I want to create a ticket, I could go up here to this plus, and I could just say created by My Excel Online. Let's say that this is a medium priority. You can select an area, let's say it's IT, and just say My Computer. I have no internet access. And let's create that ticket. So now you can see my computer is right here and the ticket I just entered has now been logged. If I hit the back button and I go to all tickets and I scroll down, I can see that my computer is right here. So my ticket has in fact been logged. And then there's a lot of other tickets organized based on status. Like there's some that are more than three days old, ones that are open today. So you have a lot of different ways you can view those tickets. But this might be an app that you might want to use on site to start logging issues that you may be having throughout your organization. If I go back over here and I click on Power Apps and I go back to Create, let's scroll down for our next app. And let's go over here and select this Contacts app. And let's just call this Contacts. You can see here that this is going to connect to Outlook. And it's also going to be a phone app. So let's go to Create. And here I can see that I'm being asked for permissions to use Outlook. Go ahead and hit Allow. And if I go up here to preview my app, you can see that I could search for some contacts, but there are no contacts available in my version of Outlook right now. So let's go fix that. First of all, I'm going to close out of here, and then I'm going to go back to office.com, and I'm going to click on Outlook. And I'm going to go over here to my contacts. So let's just add a few contacts here. I'm going to go to new contact and say John Jones. Create that contact. And then let's go to another new one and let's create Mike Smith and create that contact as well. 
Now I'm going to close out of Outlook and go back to Power Apps. I refreshed my screen as well, and now you can see that my contacts from Outlook are now available in my app. So if I hit the preview button right here, if I had more contacts in here, I could search through all of them, but let's just put Jones in for now, and you can see that John Jones is the one that is being searched for at the moment. So I could add a new contact from here, and let's put in Sarah White. And we can put in more information, so let's just say her email is Sarah at meo.com. And let's save that. You can see that Sarah has now been added to my list, not only here, but if I go back to Office and go back to Outlook, and go back to my contacts, you can see that Sarah's been added here as well. So there's a direct link right here between the contacts app and your Outlook application as well. So if I go back to Power Apps and I hit back, I'll be prompted to save the apps. So let's just save it. I want to call it Contacts and I'm just going to hit Save. And I'll be prompted with the option to share. I can do that later. If you are liking this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button to get notified when we release our weekly videos. Let's scroll down again. And this time, let's scroll down to Suggestion Box. And we can just call this one Suggestion Box. You can see that it's going to be automatically created on the tablet. And then we can hit Create right here. And I can see that the Suggestion Box app has been created. So if I preview this app, Let's just say I'm a user. Let's log in as a user. And for purposes of the demo of this app, you can see that a user has been made up. But you can configure this so that the user that's being used is actually the user that's logged on. So let's see what this app does. If I click this idea box, I can create an idea to send back to management that they might want to do. So let's say my idea is free coffee because I'm coming into work really tired every day and just say order K cups in bulk. And under here for the short description, I'm just gonna say please put free coffee in the break room and submit my idea. And then I will see that my idea has been submitted. It'll be reviewed by an admin. So I'm going to say okay there. And I'm going to close out of here because remember I had two options for when I logged in. I could be a user or I could be the admin. So I'm gonna close out of here and go back to this login screen up here and hit preview again. And this time I'm going to log in as an admin. So now as an admin, I can go over here to the notifications and I can see that I've had a new request for free coffee. And I can also see that I've had a request for a picnic and I've had a request for a football team. And if I look over here, I can approve or accept or implement any of these suggestions for my employees. So let's say I'm going to implement this one right away because I think free coffee is an excellent idea. So I'm going to hit implemented and go back to the notification center. And I can see over here that my last implemented ideas are these two. My last approved one is this one right here and my last accepted one is this one right here. So here's just another tool you can use to get some feedback from your employees as to how you can make their office environment a happier place to work. So if I hit the back button and I scroll down again to templates. So let's go down here to the interview tool. And in this one, we'll just call it interview tool and let's do this one on the tablet and hit create. So this is a cool little tool you could create for keeping track of people that you're interviewing. If I go up here to preview this one, first of all, I'm asked, which department is doing the interviewing. So let's just say I'm management. And you can see the sample data in here. And over here, you can see which positions you are interviewing for. So let's just say we're going for senior manager. And I can see that I have two candidates here that are being considered for the senior manager, Kenneth and Elena. So let's click on one of the candidates. And I can see that Elena is selected over here. So what I'm going to do is review the candidate and let's say I interviewed her and I really liked her. I'm going to hit hire and say she has a great skill set. And I'm going to now submit that feedback. And I can see a record of all of her interviews right here. And this is only my information that I have entered, but you could also see other feedback from other people who have also interviewed her. I can also hit the edit button here 
and I can change the description of the position and who the hiring manager is. And I can even close the position right here and give a description right here of what the job entails. And so if I hit the back button, I can also go over some of my closed positions and see who past candidates were for that as well. And then I can go back again and go back to the main menu and see what all the other departments are. So this tool would help with keeping information about how your hiring process is going for all the different positions within your organization. So if I go back, again, I'll be prompted to save this. Let's just hit save and call it interview tool and hit save down here. And I can scroll down and let me show you one more template. So let's scroll down here to the shout outs one. We'd like to give some positive feedback to our employees. So let's just call this one shout outs and we'll create this one for the phone and just hit create. And you'll be prompted for various applications to have access to this app. Just hit allow. And you can see that the app has been created. So if I go over here to preview, so here's my app. I'm just going to click next. And your users are going to get a description on how this app works, like why you would want to use a shout out. It's mostly for providing positive feedback to your coworkers. So I could hit next and I can see that I could take pictures and I can hit next and that they're emailed to the recipient and their manager. So the shout outs are not only seen on the app, but they can also be seen through email. And it's not just the person that will be seeing it. It will also be their manager. So if I hit next again, I can see that I'm on the main screen of the shout out. So if I hit this plus button here, who's the person I would like to find. You can just type someone in your organization. I'm going to pretend I'm not me giving myself a shout out. And what kind of shout out would I like to give? Let's say I went the extra mile on a project and would like to acknowledge that. So right here, I could say thank you for staying up until 3 a.m. getting the database working. I could also upload a photo if I have one. Maybe I could upload a photo of a clock. And then I can hit the next screen button up here. And then I can send the shout out. And if I hit the X up here, I can see that I have received a shout out right here. And I know that on the back end, that went to me and also my manager. So if I go over here to Outlook, I can see right here that that's what my shout out looks like. So this would be a good app to just increase employee morale. So hopefully these couple of templates give you an idea of all the different kinds of things you can do inside of Power Apps. And hopefully I've demonstrated how quick and easy it is to make these apps. Of course, you can customize them within Power Apps, and we will go over some of that in our upcoming lessons. But for today, we just wanted to give you a sample of what's possible inside of Power Apps. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and we'll get back to you. Thanks for watching and see you again next time. If you want to learn more about Microsoft Excel and Office, join our Academy online course and access more than a thousand video training tutorials so that you can advance your level and get the promotions, pay raises, or new jobs. The link to join our Academy online course is in the description. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you're really serious about advancing your Microsoft Excel skills so you can stand out from the crowd and get the jobs, promotion and pay rises that you deserve, then click up here and join our Academy online course today.